Sheikh, uh, at schools you have uh, two specific subjects that we feel is a bit problematic for Muslims. Uh, one of them is music class, uh, where you have to study music and listen to music, play guitars, etc., and musical instruments. And uh, it's also about physical education. Uh, when it comes to physical education, men and women are having physical education together, and it might be even touching together, touching each other, and dressing in a in a very um, inappropriate way. And sometimes it's also swimming. So all of this and this men and women, they usually they have to swim uh, together. And even if it's uh, separated, usually there should there will be a teacher who can watch them. Uh, swimming so uh, how, w- how would you advise should Muslims uh, take these subjects or should they completely skip them and fail these classes or how do we solve this issue yeah okay Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim this is a common question or these are common questions first of all I would like to emphasize on a fact that I always mention that I am answering questions for Muslims in non-Muslim countries, okay? Uh, when uh, when I answer questions in English, I'm not answering those questions, okay, for Muslims in Muslim countries. Now, having said that, we should recall the fact that we Muslims in, in non-Muslim countries are facing abnormal situations, yeah? abnormal situations that's why even now there are many conferences um, that talk about uh, fiqh of minorities fiqh of minorities minorities it doesn't mean that we have different type of fiqh no 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 it is the fiqh of those muslims who are living as minorities okay and because they are facing abnormal situations and islam is not the dominant system so they can't refer to islam or they can't complain to the government okay that rules by islam okay or to the judiciary that rules by by islam it is not there okay as as it is unfortunately the case in many muslim countries so in 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 that situation we have to remember uh, that many things cannot be applied as a matter of black and white. So there are general guidelines to be followed here. Okay. First of all, the most important guideline is fear Allah as much as you can. And the person is commanded to try his best to fear Allah as much as he can if he uh, if he done that and there are things are beyond his ability okay then he is excused and this rule which is fear Allah as much as you can is subhanallah is a very powerful tool because if I say to you for example attending uh, mixed schools and I said because of darura and because there is no other alternative and because you have to go for for uh, you have to educate yourself you can't you lose education and so on so forth so on so forth because of this and that and this and that it is permissible yeah what will happen it will happen you will take it easily and you will not try to improve the situation okay you will not try to improve the situation even if there are situations where you can avoid them, haram situations that you can avoid them, khalas, in your perception, I gave you an open check, it is permissible. And that's why this is wrong. And I advise our scholars and muftis to be careful of this, not to give an open check that it is it is halal because of darura. Yeah? No. What we should say is fear Allah as much as you can. It is you. It goes back to your uh, consciousness. It goes back to your taqwa. Yes, and that's why we see that the Quran 
is relying on taqwa in many things. In the middle of ahkam al-talaq, Allah Jalla wa'ala says, وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّبِيُّ إِذَا طَلَّقْتُمُ النِّسَاءَ فَطَلِّقُوهُنَّ لِعِدَّةٍ نَوَاحْصُ الْعِدَّةِ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ رَبَّكُمْ Yes, in the middle of some rulings regarding talaq. In, the, in, in, in Surah Al-Baqarah, many ayat that talk about talaq, yes, وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Or the, the ayat is, is giving the uh, وَاللَّهُ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ that be careful Allah knows you Allah hears you okay knows what you are doing and so on okay what does that mean it means that you need to try your best and fear Allah as much as you can this is the general ruling sometimes you might skip the listen yeah completely in in a number of countries uh, sorry, not number of countries. I don't remember the country that I was asked the similar question or a similar question about dancing classes. And they said, you can fail them. If you fail them, nothing will happen. And some parents said, we prefer to, 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 to fail them. Yeah, because we prefer, sorry, we prefer that our children fa fail them because the child is dancing next to uh, another child from the opposite gender. Yeah, and they are يعني, dancing in, in a special clothes, which is quite very strange. If that is the case, I told them, yes, if that is the case, then just fail them, don't attend. Okay, and so on. So that is the general guideline. That is the general guideline. And obviously, uh, there is a, a difference between, for example, music and another type of music. There is a difference between uh, free mixing with the opposite gender or sorry, I don't like to use the word free mixing, mixing with the opposite gender and mixing another type of mixing with the opposite gender. There are different types. You can't just generalize it. I haven't seen it and there are different circumstances. I'll give you an example. One time some brothers, any good brothers, they asked me about uh, in, uh, they, 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 they started يعني, a small organization and they want to employ, employ a sister that works in their office okay and they said we want we, 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 in order to avoid يعني, constant mixing with her because obviously one brother or two brothers will be working in the office 24 uh, sorry for 8 hours yeah five days and the sister will be working in that small office as well so i said to them i need to see the office yeah and when i saw the office it is obvious i said how can you imagine that the sister will feel comfortable to work while two brothers okay are almost watching her eight hours a day yeah and how even if she wears niqab, the way the, the, the uh, setup is there, they will be constantly um, looking at her. She will not feel comfortable to start with. So there are different circumstances. We can't, generalizing something is, is, is difficult. But you can give a guideline. So the main guideline is fear Allah as much as you can. Sometimes you can leave the class completely sometimes you can go to another uh, school sometimes you do little bit and so on okay now having said that for me the key thing my dear brothers and sisters is why do we just see this is my point why do we accept that this is in the norm and we should fit into the norm why shouldn't we try to change the norm Yes, and as uh, I always say that if we believe that we are, for example, British Muslims or Norwegian Muslims or Danish Muslims, European Muslims, then our countries should cater for our needs. This is the bottom line. We should not say, well, uh, see, this, the, the, the background of this question is you feel that this is cool has a system and you have to conform into the system because it is imposed upon you 
imposed upon you means in your background you are not on you are not part of it and you don't want it to cater for your needs because it you are part of that country you are asking how to fit into it not okay how to change it why to change it because if i am part of it the system should cater for my needs should cater for my identity should cater for my children this is the way how to look at it. Many people are talking about obeying the law of the land. Yes, obeying the law of land. The land. See, we have to obey the law in general because breaking the law does not help me, does not help anyone. Yes, and it will create a civic, a civic chaos. But why don't we say that the law of the land should take into consideration my needs? as part of the land i am part of the land i am part of the law so the law should not be an external law imposed on me i should be part of that so i should be part of making the law yes okay so uh if we start looking at these things as Muslims, my dear brothers and sisters, if we start looking at these things from this perspective, many things will change. Yeah? Which means uh, we will be more involved. We'll, we will be more active. We will be more confident. Yes? And we will not feel inferior. We don't feel, we will not feel that we are begging for our rights. Okay, I hope that it is clear, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khaira, barak Allah fikum, salam alaikum. Jazakum Allah khaira, Sheikh. Just to clarify, uh, could you please mention some more of the specific guidelines, uh, whether what is, uh, in terms of what is allowed, uh, in terms of uh, the physical activities, music uh, classes, and uh, swimming classes? Can we have physical contact with other gender? can we compromise our clothing etc or what exactly should we do can yeah. we dance can we can we swim with uh, short clothes or even look at other people when they have short clothes on okay yes bismillah rahman rahim alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah first of all as we have said the general guideline is fear allah as much as you can fattakullaha um, mastata'tu then see there are certain things that we can, we must avoid. We can't do them. For example, if the class requires that um, the, the, the boy dances with the girl, yeah? Is it allowed? Obviously, it is not allowed. And we should avoid it. We should not do it. We should not do it. It is clear. Why? Because in of itself, has number of haram things yeah this is the dhabit in of itself has number of haram things it has touching the touching element the moving the body in a very fit now a way in a very provocative way on the other side okay along if there's especially if there is music obviously as if you are recalling the shaitan okay to cause uh, to cause fitna between both of you and so on and so forth in fact, we don't need to list the adilla or why this act can be haram. It is clear. And hence, that should be that should be uh, stopped or that should not be done under any circumstance. Now, not only that, but see, if you do it, then others will do it as well. And they will use this as an excuse the school will use this as an excuse to do it with other Muslims and then they will say, but other Muslims do agree to do this. So that's why we say, no, don't do it. Moreover, apart from the haram that in uh, uh, there in, uh, in, in, in the action itself, it leads to a bigger haram. Now, don't tell me that a boy who is 14, 15, dancing, to a, dancing next to a sister uh, who is 14, 15, don't tell me that this will not affect them. Don't think, don't tell me that the boy will not have a sexual 
um, desire towards that lady or to any other sister. Don't tell me that. So such actions that have direct haram in it and it will lead to a bigger haram, those actions should not be done under any circumstance, even if you need to fail the class. Yeah? If they say, well, if you don't do this dancing with the opposite gender, you will fail the class. Fail it. Okay? What can you do? Uh, this is this is an example. So, you should avoid touching. You should avoid also wearing revealing clothes. So, in swimming classes, in swimming classes, um, we know about this. Some girls are required to wear bikini or very revealing clothes. So, don't do that. And the parents should tell their children not to do that. Now, uh, see, in swimming classes, they will be wearing like this, okay? Girls who are 13, 14, wearing bikini in front of the opposite gender. This is very problematic. This is very problematic. So, you should avoid it. You should not do that, okay? And moreover, if girls got used to it, then they will get used to it even when they become older, okay? Uh, so you should not do that. Um, same thing if they are playing or and, and touching each other in swimming classes. Yeah, imagine a boy is who is 14 with a girl who is 14 or 13. They are playing together while they are semi-naked. What will happen between them? And we know, and you know, everyone knows that this leads to fitna, this leads to attachment between both of them. That's why in such circumstances or such environments there is uh, a lot of zina taking place and so on. Okay? Um, also, in, in some other physical activities like football, etc., uh, you don't need to be active in such uh, in such games where you are going to touch the opposite gender. Yeah? And you can just be, you try, as we said, try to fear Allah as much as you can. If you can't do it, if you can't stop it or you can't avoid it, then don't have, don't play, uh, uh, don't don't have a, an active part in it where you are going to touch the opposite gender or you, you you become in contact with the opposite gender um, also you know uh, sometimes in 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 swimming yeah in swimming classes they have to change in front of each other okay no don't to do that this is not allowed okay um, sometimes they have to take showers although the same gender has to take a shower Okay, among themselves, but some countries, some countries, I think I'm not quite sure of this. Some countries may ask the uh, the students or the pupils to take showers while they are naked. Even that, that is not allowed, even in front of the same gender. Yeah, so don't do that uh, again. Um, and as we said uh, about music classes, music classes then uh, see don't be a very active member in uh, in the music classes okay do the minimum that makes you either pass or just just finish this course okay because you don't want to be involved um, heavily in the haram thing as we said fear Allah as much as you can okay Fear Allah as much as you can, and this is between you and Allah Jalla wa'ala. But these are some uh, general guidelines. Inshallah, you can you can apply them. Um, uh, we also said that see, um, sometimes you might these classes might not fail you. Okay, sometimes those classes might affect your grades. Okay, that's fine. But to try to do good in other grades. Yeah, or in other subjects. Once you do good in other subjects, this will compromise the uh, the less achievement that you have in these uh, classes. Inshallah, that will be inshallah enough. And as we said, uh, we the key thing is we as Muslims should 
demand that the law caters for our needs because we are part and parcel of 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 Britain of Norway Denmark of Europe that is the key point jazakumullah khairan assalamu alaikum